my baby. to go because this will be our first time ever staying in a cabin. We have gone camping the one time for New Year's so this is kind of like elevating that experience a little bit. I did have a little bit of a concern about how to keep her entertained on the road because I hate road trips. Personally, I don't like them. I don't really count this as a road trip because it's probably only going to be like two to three hours so it's not a big deal. But I'm talking about those long, horrible, but anyway, my concern is that Robin would be super bored on the road or that she would be on our phones the whole time. And I don't want her staring at a screen for like three to four hours until we get there. So I Googled <laughs> ways to entertain your kids who are ages five to six, probably younger than that. Honestly, you could probably customize this for like three year olds on up. And so I found activity binders. I'm really, really excited about this because you can change it up over and over and over for endless hours of fun for your kids. It just takes a little bit of preparation on your end, mom and dad. So I'm gonna show you what I have in her binder. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna buy a trapper keeper. This is found inside of the uh, school supplies aisle. Doesn't matter what store you go to, they usually have these at like the major box stores. Um, you can get whatever style you want. I like this style because it has this extra pocket on the outside, which I'll show you in just a second, and some cool pockets on the inside. I also got in a color that I thought Robin might enjoy, which is purple. On the outside, they have this pocket. Where's the zipper? Here it is. On the outside, they have this pocket with extra storage. It has a little pouch here and then a little zip-up pouch here. What I like to keep in this outer pouch is the glue. So I keep glue sticks in here for a couple of reasons. One, you can see that the lid is not on this joint <laughs> because Robin probably forgot to put it on there. Um, so that's why I keep it on the outside so that if there is a sticky situation, it won't get over it won't get on top of or all over all of her cool stuff on the inside. Thankfully, the lid is still inside the little pouch, so I'm just gonna pop it on and zip it back up. You can also put anything right here if you want like to stick a picture of your child or a picture of your family or like a fun note or messages um, that you wanna leave them. So there's that. Now let's open it up and see what's inside. A whole bunch. <laughs> So the first thing you'll see is this side here, which has really, really great storage. This is why I like Firestar a lot because they put a lot of thought into their product. But the first thing you see are these little, these little uh, tabs. You can put pencils in there. You can put um, pretty much whatever you think of that you want to put in here. You can put in here, maybe rulers, maybe measuring tape, maybe um, markers, whatever. Like whatever you think your kid will like. I like to put the safety scissors in there. Um, and that way we always know where they are. I didn't want to put them like inside of a pouch because I didn't want her to reach in and accidentally cut herself. So it was really cool that you could secure them on the outside and that's good for safety and visibility at all times. Then you have this little area here. These are little file folders and I like to keep her stickers in here because I love stickers, okay? Most kids like stickers and you can customize whatever kind of stickers you like. Like I have some Lisa Frank in here. I have some um, face like stickers. I have food stickers. Whatever kind of stickers your kid is into, their favorite characters, whatever, you can put it inside of there. Then the next thing you'll see is this little mesh pouch right here. I have filled Robin's up with, oh, there's some angel here. I have filled her pouch up with crayons. Now you can put whatever you like in here. You could do chalk, you could do markers, whatever you want. I did crayons because they'll be easy um, to use. If she breaks them, they're cheap, it's fine. And 
you can rub crayon off or wash it off your car if it accidentally gets like on the seat, on the door, or whatever, whatever. No permanent, permanent markers. And I actually don't put markers inside of this for the road because that might be more tempting to draw on her, on her seat or on the back of my seat or whatever the situation is. So I just take myself out of that situation by not including them in the binder. I also bought her an additional mesh pouch to separate her color pencils. Uh, the reason being is because I wanted her to be able to see them clearly, just in case they're sharp, so that again, she doesn't injure herself. And it also includes this really cute mini pencil sharpener. Um, it's made for kids, so it covers the blade pretty well. She can still kind of touch it if she wanted to, but we talked about safety and her not touching it, but it has this rubber outside to keep kids safe and it's cute mini on the other side. Everything else is whatever I have found on the internet or from coloring books or activity books. So if you kids have a lot of coloring books that they're just not using, just cut out a few pages and put a hole in them, put a hole punch, uh, use a hole punch, and put them in the binder. So that's the three ring binder um, part right here. I actually have a three ring puncher that I use in my office for work. I don't use it that very much for work anymore, but it was perfect for this. You never know when you're gonna need to punch a hole in something. So I put coloring pages in here from her coloring book. I've also printed coloring pages in here that I just liked off the internet because sometimes you don't have the right coloring book, but you know, your kids are really into Barbie or something like that. You can just Google Barbie coloring pages and then print the heck out of them. I've also included word finds for five-year-olds did you know they have word finds for five-year-olds? Yes, they do. They make them in nice big letters and they accompany pictures with every word. So it helps to reinforce your child's learning of the vocabulary. They're learning how to spell. They're learning how to uh, look and search. They're practicing their fine motor skills because they're, they're writing their name, the date, they're making lines, and they can do it whatever color they want. So word finds are really, really awesome. Um, then I also have included crosswords. Now at first I was like, a crossword is gonna be way too difficult. I can barely do crosswords half the time. So when it comes to kids' crosswords, what I discovered is that they take the number and they match it with a photo. So for example, five, number five is apple. So all they have to do is spell the word apple in the slot of number five. They don't have to figure anything out like a puzzle, a clue, or a riddle. That might be a little bit too advanced if your child is, you know, underneath the age of maybe eight or something like that, I I'm thinking. But at five years old, hey mom, how do you spell apple? I'm in the front seat, she's in the back seat, and I spell it for her. She's hearing it, she's writing it, and she's seeing it. So it's gonna reinforce, reinforce her learning while giving her confidence that she can fill out a crossword puzzle. Scavenger hunts! Road trip scavenger hunts are pretty much a must on the road. Ah, oh, there's another crossword where it has them figure it out a little bit. So this is kind of like the next step of just write the picture. So it's, it shows an apple and you would write apple. Well, this one gives them a chance to try to figure out what the letters are. So it's kind of like a puzzle in that it doesn't show them all the letters, but it still gives them the picture clue. So they can say arm and they can try to sound it out and spell it first, or they can ask, you can ask them, well, how do you think you should spell arm? And then if they're incorrect, you can just guide them and say arr, arr, and like really help them with the phonics until they get it right. Instead of saying, oh, you got it wrong as A-R-M or just giving them the answer, sound it out with them and help them get the answer correct. Then once they fill it out on this side, then they go to the puzzle and they fill it out inside the crossword. So I really like this too. And then probably one of my favorite things that I found on the internet were a bunch of kids drawing lessons. So what's really cool is that on each step along the path, your child just tries to replicate what they see. So the first thing she would draw is this part, the little shield shape for Groot's uh, body, for his head. And then she would add some easy shapes. And then she would add some stripes and some little leaves and so on and so on and so on. And then she'll say, look mom, 
I drew Groot. I drew baby Groot. She's gonna feel super proud of herself, okay? First of all, she's gonna be like amazed that she could draw something so well. You can just like spew over all this joy and appreciation over your child at that moment and make them feel confident and happy, and then they can color it in. And then they can practice over and over again, and maybe they have a new passion, or maybe they have a new skill, and just growing the confidence in themselves is enough for them to keep trying or try new things. If this is something they've never done before, this is a really easy way to get them started. So I printed a bunch of these, you know, try to draw uh, pages and they can trace them. If they don't want to draw them, they can just trace them. What I've also done is I've included a bunch of blank paper at the back. That is the activity binder. I love it. I feel like I need one myself, <laughs> to be honest. I really am excited that I have the tablet for adult entertainment <laughs> for myself. I think it's gonna make a big difference and um, I hope it makes a big difference for you. So if you're on a road trip, let us know if any of these tips helped you. Please give us a big thumbs up. Keep watching so um, you can catch a trip to Oklahoma.